All right, guys, we got a little change of plans here. So originally, I bought this bypass pulley for the AC pump, and it bolts on, obviously, right where the AC pump did. And my belt that was running around the power steering pump was rubbing on the on the steering box. So I'm gonna completely delete that, and I'm just gonna be running the alternator, power steering pump. And then I have the stock idler pulley. And I'm going to bolt this onto here. Like so. And the belt's going to run up around here. Around the power steering pump. Around this pulley. Up around the alternator. And back around the crank. So this is what I've got built so far. It's a quarter inch plate. Of, it's made of steel. Um, and it's bolted through both bolts for the alternator and you got to use a you got to use a spacer on the back side of it those are I just got washers there for now but I'm gonna order up some spacers you got it's got to be about three-eighths of an inch and then this is also gonna need a spacer about three sixteenths I measured so stick it out right in line with the pulleys. So, and then obviously you got to run by a shorter belt, and it's going to be about 55 inches is what you need. And you can just run to any any auto parts store, and they should be able to look up uh, belts by length. So that's what I got built so far. I'm gonna order up some spacers for it, get a belt, and get this bolted on. And I'll show you guys how that all comes together. And that's going to simplify everything. So that should be a lot nicer. So I'll show you guys that when I get, get around to building that. Getting the belt and everything on it. Alright, got pretty much this tensioner all figured out. So, um, still waiting for the actual spacers. But this belt is from Napa. It's twenty or fifty-five and a quarter inches long, and I mean you can do a different length as well. You just have to adjust where you drill this hole for the actual pulley, but that should work pretty good. The only thing I see so far is that bolt. It doesn't touch the belt, but it's pretty close. So once I get my spacers in, I might have to pull that washer out or. I don't know, do something with that just so it's got a little bit more of a gap, but that right there should work. And I got plenty of clearance everywhere, so that's pretty much pretty much it. So I'll get those spacers on, pull it apart and paint it all up and then uh show you guys the final product of that. Alright, we got the tensioner all finished up and painted. So what I did, this is a quarter inch thick steel plate um, and to get these slots what I did was I drilled a hole at each end and then I took a cutoff wheel and you can see kind of overshot right there um, so I just did, it, did the cutoff wheel in between the holes and then drilled that hole and it's got to be offset um, from center for the pulley and that spacer behind the pulley is the 3 16 and then you, you'll need longer alternator bolts these are 8 mil um, by I think 110 millimeters long and the spacer is 3 8 on those and the belt is I got it from Napa there's the part number I think it's 55 and a quarter inches long and it fits really nice so I'll uh, get the stand set up and show you guys how it all mounts up and how to get that belt tensioned all right this is pretty simple but I'll show you guys anyway so take your bolts the spacers go behind oh drop that one in between the plate and the alternator
get that, get the belt bolt snugged up. Get this around the crank, the power steering. And then what I do It's pretty tight so it's hard to get over this ridge on the power steering or the crank so just slip it over the tensioner because there's no ridge just like that make sure everything's lined up and then make sure your bolts are loose and what I do here is just take a screwdriver just get a flat blade and you can pry on the where the original tensioner bolted on there's that the boss where the the bolt went through just pry on that on the top of the plate get it snug and tighten your bolts up and that should be tight enough so pretty simple pretty simple setup there Makes a lot more room for, for everything else, not having that that big AC pulley or the AC pump there. And like I said, mine was hitting on the steering box, so that's the main reason I did that. So I'm hoping that'll work. I don't I don't see why I should have any issues with it, so that's that.